Slimehouse TV, myself, Theo Kane, hold tight all the Patreon gang, the Slime Alliance, the Slime Renegades, if you're watching this a little bit more in advanced, and hold tight everybody else that's locked in to watch some original episodes of Dragon Ball Z. Today I'm on episode 24, I believe, and in the last episode, shit really did kick off. Vegeta and Nappa are now here on Earth, and in the last episode, I was gutted because, spoilers, Yamcha died. Yamcha got killed, and he didn't even get killed by Vegeta and Nappa. He got killed by the little green Cybermen that they grew out of the ground. And uh, and they're doing this weird thing where rather than have a free-for-all and they all just start fighting each other, they're doing like, okay, one of ours versus one of yours. So TN stepped up, he beat one of their Cybermen. And then next, Krillin were like, right, I'm going to fight one. And the Yamcha was like, nah, do you know what? Let me do it. Because if you die, you've already been wished back by the Dragon Balls. Whereas if I die, Alicia can wish me back eventually. So he was like, okay, well, you step up. So Yamcha stepped up and we thought he'd beaten the Cyberman. But he got a little bit too cocky. The Cyberman wasn't quite dead. And he did the Kamikaze attack and killed both of them. And wiped, <sighs> wiped Yamcha off the board. So I was really gutted about that because I really liked Yamcha. I like his whole vibe. I like his character. And everybody seems to love Yamcha in that world. Even uh, even Bulma, who's had a little bit of a thing with Yamcha back in the day. He's got his little flying cat pet that's always with him. He was really gutted. And although I'm sure they can wish him back at some point, or at least I hope they do, it's still wank that he's now not part of the battle because, yeah, man, Yamcha was my guy. Also, I'm pretty hungover today. I'm not a big party animal or anything like that, but every single year, me and my crew, my boys get together and have a few drinks for Christmas and that's what we did last night so I'm, uh, I'm feeling it today we did quite a few bottles of Tennessee fire last night me and my crew so I've got my uh, I've got my Udi on I'm chilling our last brought us some Krispy Kremes we've already ate half of the box and I've also got an ice cream flavored Vegeta soda to, uh, to see me on my way so without further ado let's get into it let's watch the original Dragon Ball Z series episode 24 for the first time ever Pow! So yeah, if I'm not that animated today, it's literally just because I'm feeling the effects of last night. And I don't regret any of it, I had a really good time, but we didn't go to bed until like 7.30am, and then I had like four hours sleep and then got up, so... <laughs> but you better know I'm feeling it today, but I'm also feeling some Dragon Ball Z as well, so let's do this. I'm also gaining a bit of knowledge in terms of like what's happening with Piccolo and Kami and why they're connected and things and like why the Cyberman can fight and stuff like that. So respect to everybody that's like letting me know stuff in the comments either on here or over on Patreon. It's really appreciated. Like not giving me spoilers, but just filling me in little blanks as to why there's things happening that I might not understand because I've not seen Dragon Ball. Okay, let's do this. Episode 24. I think this is called like the power of Nappa or some shit like that. So you don't know Nappa's probably gonna do some damage in this one. Yeah, this was sad, man. I, I'm so gutted that Yamcha got fucked up. It's funny how little these Cybermen are as well, and they can fucking fight. In a single flash, Yamcha was dead. This show don't play, does it? And uh these two Saiyans, I've said it many times, but they're absolute bastards. They're absolute problems and I wouldn't put anything past them. They really relish in killing people and destroying planets. It's their whole vibe. The power of Nappa. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I don't know Nappa's probably going to do a lot of damage in this episode. Man. These, this lot are just watching it on TV, like pay-per-view. Like they're live streaming the fight. That little floating cat thing loves its master Yamcha. And Summit tells me that he's loving Bulma crying on his shoulder, the dirty old bastard. Oh shit. Yeah, she still had big boy feelings for Yamcha. Big girl feelings. We can use the dragon balls to wish him back. Yeah, wish my brother Yamcha back. <laughs> You're a genius. That's literally what they do every time someone dies. I knew it, the dirty old cunt. Smash him in his fucking head. <laughs> fucking hell. A boyfriend's not even cold. Don't you get it? You're all gonna die in the end. Yeah. Calm down, Nappa. Give them a moment to clear this trash off the battlefield. Yeah, he said that in the last episode. Clear this trash off the battlefield. So now Krillin's going to get vexed and he's going to want to step up and take revenge for the loss of his friend. Summit tells me that little Krillin ain't going to be able to fucking fight Big Nappa or Little Vegeta or any of those Cybermen. But 
when you're raging, you get like that madman strength, but it also makes you clouded by rage and you're going to miss things because your uh, your focus is not on point. Oh, who knows? Maybe he's going to charge up some big boy attack and fucking level all those Cybermen. <laughs> Running like some fucking creature across the floor. What the? I'm not sure what he's planning to do, but I know this much. We don't want to be here when the blast hits. <laughs> Even Piccolo don't want it. Go on, Krillin. I didn't know Krillin was so fucking powerful, man. I like when they bend the attack round. They bend the fucking attack. They bend the bullet, the beam, like the bullets in Wanted. <laughs> Oh shit, go on my G! <laughs> Krillin the Don. Did he singe their leg hair? As as uh, as Raditz would say, you singed my leg hair. Way to go, Way to go brother. <laughs> <laughs> you Good attack, pulled it out of nowhere. Very, very nice for like a 1 nil to us, but there's no way that he defeated Napper and uh, Vegeta with that. That was great! Yeah, thanks you guys. That was for you, Yamcha. Oh. Oh shit. Also, Krillin is the one that they probably like underestimate the most. Rip him to bits, Piccolo. Yeah, Piccolo's not even started fighting yet. Don't be fucking putting hands on my little fucking Gohan. Yeah! <laughs> Go on, Piccolo! I fucking love Piccolo, man. Oh, shit! Godzilla breath. Vaporised him to a skeleton while he was in mid-air. What's mad about Piccolo is that he always pulls out, like, random attacks and abilities that he's got that you're just like, oh, fucking hell, I didn't even know he could do that. that was incredible. Grows his arms back. Can split into multiple people. I also found out that when he does that thing and he splits into two like mitosis, each time he does that, the power level halves. Yeah, fucking pissing about. Look at these two. Not even phased by the attack. Ah, fuck! Fine by me, I'm sick of playing games. Yeah. Must be really disheartening to like hit someone with your hardest fucking attack and it literally does nothing. Don't kill the Namek. Right, I got it. I can't kill the Namek. Fine. Kill everyone but Piccolo. We'll save him to last because he needs to tell us where the Dragon Balls are. Huh. Piccolo wants it. I want to see Piccolo and Nappa fucking fake. This is going to be a nice swingers. Although, Vegeta and Nappa are way more powerful than Raditz. Oh, fucking hell. Look at that kick. Kick the fucking snot out of him. You're supposed to be buzzing off this shit. Are you okay, Piccolo? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a broken rib or two. Oh, just a broken rib or two. I wonder if he can just grow a new rib back like he can his arm. What's this guy charging up, man? What's this attack he's going to be pulling out of the bag? <laughs> Kit size are his leg muscles. He's like fucking Sagat times 10. Oh shit. No. All the fucking rocks around him levitating. Power surge. Yeah, this is bad. Look how much he look how happy he is. That's when you know something fucking horrible is gonna happen. When he's smiling, horrible shit happens. Cities explode or planets get fucking obliterated. I said get up, now do it. Don't let yourself be overwhelmed by your opponent. Yeah. Don't let yourself be overwhelmed by anyone. You are a Saiyan. You are a warrior.
<laughs> oh shit, the old adverts already. This episode's moving fast, man. Oh, we need Goku, man. Goku's still flying along Snake Way trying to get back to Earth. But the thing is, Goku only just beat Raditz. Um, and now he's on his way back. And I know he's done a lot of training and he's more powerful now. But is he going to be powerful enough to... The Snake Cheekers! I wonder if there's any hard feelings. Is he going to blast straight through it? Oh, I thought you were going to go fucking torpedo straight through it. Fuck off, Snake cunts. Yeah, I know it's like that, tra just going back to what I was saying before, I know it's that traditional good and evil thing, it's a cartoon, obviously the good guys are going to prevail eventually, but with Dragon Ball Z at least, it's not as simple or as easy as it could appear to be in a regular cartoon. So I know that he's going to come back and eventually they are going to defeat these guys in some form or, or another, but is it going to be a case of he lands and he beats him, or is it going to be like a good fucking few episodes of these guys really tearing the shit out of each other and Goku doing something really clever to finally pull out something from the bag and defeat him. I don't think he's just going to land now like Thor in fucking Avengers Infinity War in that big battle at the end looking for Thanos and just fucking wipe shit out. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Look at these guys. They can't even stand still like gale force wind. And he's just stood there just smiling, charging up this fucking energy. Shit. Has he like drawn their power away? <gasps> no! Don't you dare kill that little fuck. Yeah, what's he gonna do? What's his attack gonna be? I like that when they charge these attacks, when they stand there charging them, they're so big and powerful that even running away won't do anything. It's like a nuke getting dropped on you. Which of you wants to die first? Not me killing anyone. We've already lost Yamcha. We don't, and Chaozu's just got fucked up. Oh shit, man! Look at this guy running towards you. What the fuck would you do? Go on! Oh fucking hell! He can't even hit him. It burns his hand. Oh what? No! Cut his fucking arm off. He can't grow his arm back like Piccolo. I don't think he can, at least. I know he's like an alien mutant with three eyes, but shit, man. Disarmed him. He's been disarmed. Ah, said it before, you motherfucker. Yeah, that's mad as well, because all their energy is focused into the hands. So if you take someone's hands, you've fucked them. You've took their guns away. Oh, man. No, no, oh. <sighs> they really don't stand a chance against these guys, do they? They weren't, like, being lied to when they said, yo, these guys are super powerful. It's they're on a different league to you. Like putting a little chihuahua against a lion. It's just, uh, it don't matter how much will to win the little chihuahua's got, the lion's going to fucking shred it to pieces. These are fighting for their planet, for their freedom. They... You've got to kind of just like throw yourself in there. Whole hog. No. Some of the fucking attacks these Saiyans pull out, man. What the fuck is going on? Oh shit, man. Luckily, he just made it out of the crater. I fully thought that was the end of him then. You Namek lizard! Ooh, got a cut on his head. No. What the fuck, man? Look at the state of this guy. My aim was a little off. I hit Chaozu instead. What's the matter, three eyes? Never. Watch it. You're being careless. Go on! Ah, he's so little he can't even grab him. Yeah, man, not me ripping my boy's fucking arm off. Go on, do something. What are you going to do? What's this little crazy attack? That I've not seen yet. Oh. 
shit, man. Yeah, I don't like to see little Chouzo getting fucked up by that big dude. Yeah. Oh, fuck, man. Don't turn away. Honour his bravery. Oh, fuck. Don't turn away. Honour his bravery. I fucking love that. Piccolo is the one. Oh. No. I'll end up fucking crying watching this shit. You're not going anywhere. Just stop it. I have to say goodbye now. That brave little fuck. I have to do this. Thank you for everything. You're my best friend. Always. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Please, this isn't the answer. It's the only way to How are little kids going to watch this and then go to school after? Be traumatized. Oh my god. No, stop it. Get off. Goodbye, Tien. Remember me. Uh, uh, uh. What? Is he going to fucking suicide dive him into those spiky rocks? What's this mad move that he's pulling out? I can't deal with this shit. You see, Gohan, size alone is not enough. He loves it. You have to have heart and cunning too. <laughs> size alone is not enough. You need heart and cunning. Be prepared to sacrifice yourself for your planet. Fuck, man. Krillin is having the worst day ever. All his friends. <laughs> you can fuck off! <laughs> You can get to fuck. <laughs> now you see him, now you don't. Horrible fucking dirty, horrible fucking bastard. What? It can't be. Not even a scrape. Not even a scrape. So, so that means Chiaotzu sacrificed himself for, for fuck all. No. He's already been wished back to life once before. Now not even the dragon and boss can bring him back. You can fuck off. So, he has been wished back before and died. They can never wish him back again. All the fucking Z-team are getting wiped out by these dickheads. Where is Goku, man? Oh my days, this is a fucking harrowing episode. The Earth's Defenders has given his life in the struggle against the Saiyans. And with their numbers dwindling... The odds of survival grow slim. Numbers are fully dwindling. These few remaining fighters would stand the Saiyan onslaught. And Yojirobi's fucked off eating, talking shit to the cameras and the news, and he's not there helping. Napa. Find out. The As unstoppable Nappa. You don't know. I'm fucking done with Dragon Ball Z for a bit. This shit's too harrowing. It's uh let me stop that. Let's have a let's stop that and have a little recap. So let's just process a little bit what we've just watched with that episode. Like I'm feeling hungover today. I wanted to watch Dragon Ball Z, sit down, have a good time, and uh, watch some fun fighting and a bit of shit slinging dialogue back and forth. And instead, we've watched Yamcha, who died in the last episode. I I, I respect that. I appreciate it. And then we just saw Tien get his fucking arm licked off, and then little Chaozu sacrifice himself to defeat Nappa and he did nothing. He sacrificed himself for nothing. Not only that, he's already been wished back once with the Dragon Ball, so they can't wish him back again. So that poor little bastard sacrificed himself for nothing. And the speech that he gave when he's saying, you're my best friend, I would do anything for you. I will sacrifice myself today if it means that I can keep you safe. And then Piccolo said to Gohan when he was scared looking away, and he goes, don't look away. Honor his bravery. And, uh, and it was all in vain. Oh, fuck, man. What a harrowing episode. That might be one of the most harrowing episodes yet. Like, I think that is the most harrowing episode I've seen so far. Damn, son. Dragon Ball Z ain't fucking playing. And as much as I don't want to watch the next episode because I'm like, fuck. 
I don't want to watch anymore. This shit's horrible. <laughs> we've uh, we've got to keep going with it. We've got to watch the next episode. So you can watch that next episode now over on Patreon. By the time this goes live on the YouTube, there's always an episode on Patreon ready to watch in advance. So if you want to watch the next episode, head over to patreon.com forward slash Slimehouse TV. You can join the Slime Renegade tier. It's just a dollar a month and you get to watch these episodes a week in advance. You can also join the Slime Renegades tier and uh, watch Toy Talk Tuesday episodes two weeks in advance and some other perks as well. But either way, head over to the Patreon, see if there's a tier that suits you. And if it sounds like a bit of you, then it really does help make me make this channel bigger and better than ever and allows me to do this YouTube shit full time and keep bringing out videos regularly. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this episode. Did you think this shit was as harrowing as I did when you first watched it? Is this your first time watching it as well? Did you have the same reaction to me? Let me know in the comments below. And if you ever want to hit me up, but you don't want to do it publicly, you want to send me a private message, the best place to do that is over on Instagram at Theo underscore Kane underscore Slimehouse. You can also add me on there because I put up a lot of exclusive pictures. I'm always posting on my Instagram. It's the social media that I'm the most active on. So in the meantime, I'm going to go lay down for a bit, maybe play a bit of Fortnite, have a bit of a rest day which i never do but i planned for a rest day because i knew that i were drinking last night so like i said i've got my udi on i've got some crispy creams i'm gonna go kick back and i just want to say thank you to you guys for joining me to watch this episode i think this is the last episode that i'll be doing before christmas but you won't see it until after christmas so it don't really make a difference anyway but yeah i just want to say a big merry christmas to everybody that's joined in if you're somebody that celebrates it and if not like i said in my last video where i interviewed brian levant the maker of jingle all the way and a big time toy collector if you're not someone that celebrates christmas i hope you're able to blag a day off work anyway so again thank you for joining me today i'm theo kane slime house tv watch along wednesday dragon ball z episode 24 and until next time until i see you next time i'm gone <laughs> Oh,